Yo, this Queens flip, man. You know what I'm saying? We going down the elevator, but you know, before we do all that, I know y'all want the Gene Deal episode, but y'all guys are not helping me with my sponsors. You know, y'all know y'all gotta rate, subscribe, and review on Apple Podcasts. Y'all know y'all gotta comment and and like and repost on SoundCloud, and none of y'all is doing that. Y'all not doing that. So it it looked like you know I'm not getting out here. It looked like I'm gonna have to take things. I'm gonna have to do what I do. I'm gonna have to hold shit hostage to get y'all niggas mad. And I don't wanna do it. I wanna put out more Gene Deal footages for y'all to understand, but y'all don't wanna fuck with me. Y'all don't respect it. Y'all don't respect the. Y'all do. Y'all do respect. I'm playing. Y'all, y'all respect it, but y'all gotta respect the growth, man. Like, you know, I put a lot of work in, man. You know, we in the city, cause y'all, we got here. Y'all helped me get here, and, and it's like, you know, what's up? What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm in the elevator going up and down because I love my niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, this is what I actually had to do. Now, let's go. Let me Before I jump to conclusions, let me go to Apple Podcast. Let me see how much reviews. We got 647. That's it? 647? Come on, y'all. Come on. If y'all want the full Gene Deal episode, I need 750 reviews, man. We at 647, I need 750, man. You know what I'm saying, that's 101, no, that's 103 reviews I need, man. I need 103 reviews, man. That's what I'm asking y'all, man. 103 reviews, can I get 103 reviews? I'ma show y'all how to do it. I don't wanna hold the the Gene Deal hostage, but I need your help. Tell a friend to tell a friend to go to Apple Podcasts, subscribe, go to SoundCloud. I need to keep my sponsors on that side happy. I have to. I have to, because this is why we're here in the city. This is why we're able to do what we're able to do. This is why. This is why I'm able to do what I'm able to do, because to keep my sponsors happy. So please, I'm gonna show you how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna show you what to do when I ask y'all just to hold me down, man. I don't want to make it too long or too drawn out. I think it's going on three minutes. But come on, y'all. Hold me down, man. I need 750. Can I get 750 for the whole Gene Deal? For more Gene Deal clips? Can I? Y'all got me. I know y'all do. We don't make each other fail. Yeah, we hold each other up. And that's why I love you guys. That's why we got this far. But for my sponsors, I need 103 more people to like, subscribe, and review on Apple Podcasts. I'm from Queens for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Facts. First thing you do is that you go to podcast. Every iPhone has this podcast button. You click podcast. When you click it, you go to the bottom right. Search. Click search. When you press search, you type in flip the script. Now, it should automatically come up. Podcast. You click that. You look at these. These are the episodes right here, the four episodes, four recent episodes or, I mean, previous episodes. But you go where it says podcast, you click this. Boom. If you're not subscribed, you press subscribe. This is all free, by the way. You go to review. You go write a review. Now, when you write a review, you see this where it says rate? This makes you rate. One star, two star, three star, four star, five star. It don't matter. You write your title, you do it, and you send it in. You press send. Send it in. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. It's easy. What year you came home and you was good? What year? I came home in fucking 89, 1989. Mm. Where did you meet Prem at? Let's go straight. Let's go straight. I mean, Prem came in the jail, man. I know Prem. You know, no, 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 don't start. Don't start getting on antsy on me now. <laughs> don't start getting on antsy. You, you know, you know. Prem came in the jail plus member of it. But Where did I'm you coming. Meet Prem? You met him in jail or home? Nah, I met him home. I'm mean, being member. But I'm been Queens all the time. I ain't, I ain't in jail all my life. I'm in Queens from Queens. So when did you meet him though? Did you meet him? Were you, were you did you meet him in the streets? Cause he was younger than you. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean. Oh, you yeah. met him when he was when he was preem and he came up. Yeah, yo, no, I, I don't know if he's preem. I'm not. I don't know. If he's a five percent of what? Then yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but yeah, so no, nah, I you know. How many gangsters you know before that you get there? How man, many I know I know a lot know. of people, man. How many stop come on your chest? I can't count them. I'm telling you, Chaz, man. I know people all the, over the country. We, we man. talking about the known gangsters in New York. We talking about like fat cats. We talking about like the, I did I didn't like cat, I don't, I don't really know cat like that. I oh, you don't know, know cat? Mm-mm. So you knew know you knew that. you knew Supreme. Supreme, yeah, yeah. Cat right. I didn't really know. Cauley, you know, and uh I didn't know Cat though. Okay. You knew Pappy and them Pappy. niggas? And, no, okay. Pappy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you know I was going to ask next. You see that? Yeah. No, but, you know, I know you know, I know a lot of dudes that was fucking with Pap, you know? But oh, I you know. know. Okay. Yeah. I so now, so, so you met Preem, you just met him. Yeah, was no, cool. I didn't just meet him. I think I said, I know. I mean, Preem did a federal bid while I was in there. He did a federal bid, too. Describe Preem, though. What do you mean? Personally, how, what type of person is he? He's a good man. He's a thorough man. He's a good man. St- and you, 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 you stand up. Stand you, you, up all the way. That's how you always felt about him. Yeah, yeah. Preem is good. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I, you know, I fuck with these guys, man. And just, that's why you put in the position in that song. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Da, 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 da. Take me a sip of this. Da, 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 da. Take me a sip of that. Yeah, that's my You're a real nigga. I'm just saying, I don't know why you would hold the juice. You know, this is this the time where the juice get 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 a little bit. You know, the red bulls in your system. So hopefully, it gives you wings. No man. <laughs> um, so. Um, um, so so talk about so. But you know a lot of guys in Queens. Yeah. How did you just start in the music industry then? Okay, uh, when I uh, came home. I was on uh, on a special type of supervision because of uh, <coughs> what they call intensive supervision because of the crimes that I was convicted of. Mm. You know, so when you when you came, I'm sorry, hold that thought. When you came mm-hmm. home, did you have any money left? No, I didn't have no money left. Damn, you're lying, but get. <laughs> I just saw you like you just lied to me. Now, remember, now, 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 now I'm not keeping my. Now you lied to me in front of my face. No, well, I ain't had no money left. I came home, you know, broke. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't broke. Okay, got it. I, I. But so I, got it. so you was on intensive supervision. Yeah, so I was on intensive supervision. So you know, like when you like you got these, they give you these special POs and shit, mm-hmm. and it's like a, it's really like a catch twenty two. It's like. You know, they, it's not their job ain't really to keep you out. Their job is to get you back in as quick as possible. Mm. You know what I mean? Because of your record, really. You know, they don't want you in the street, you know? So um, part of your 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 parole, you know, um, stipulations is to get stay out, just to get a job, right? You know, so what they would do is, you know, tell you or you when you cut, they keep you on a weekly report and shit. Like you know, to till to, to you get a job or whatever, right? So every week you gotta tell them that you're looking for a job, and you know the catch twenty two is, you know, oh uh, yeah, yeah, I went out today. You know, I went out all week or whatever, and then they say, oh yeah, where you go? You know, where did you apply to? You know what I'm saying? You know, and you tell them right, and so what they would do is go to those places to verify, suppose that you did go look for the job. And when they go in there, they might come in there with their flak jackets on, with their fucking badges showing, and all this stupid shit and ask for you. So you wouldn't get the job no motherfucking way. You know what I mean? So that was their method of trying to get you back in. You know what I'm saying? That you ain't working, you know, or hopefully you do some crazy shit or something anyway. But so I had to figure out a way to 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 uh, stay stay out, you know, and and make money and qual- you know make it qualify as a employment, legitimate employment. So one day I was um, my son, one of my sons, he was fucking with Naughty by Nature. Actually, he was like a roadie for Naughty by Nature, you mm-hmm. know. So um, one day he was in the crib and I. And he, they was getting ready to go on tour again or some shit. And I saw, I looked at the itinerary. And in that itinerary, I saw like the, they was going to like major cities, and, and 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 most of them cities, I knew people in because of my incarceration. Like I said, I was incarcerated fifty years, and in federal prisons, you incarcerate with people from all over the country, and. 
usually, you know, you make friends with people and you always change numbers or whatever when you get out, when they're going to let's hook up or whatever, you know, for whatever reason. And so I said, damn, I know people in damn near all these cities and shit. So I started calling them and asking them, like, you know, what, what kind of, uh, you know, venues they got out there, you know, that if I wanted to do an after party, you know, how, you know, so... I'm calling people in different cities that I know that help me, you know, contact clubs and all this other shit, the security that I needed or whatever, you know, for the to do an after party. So I go to Naughty by Nature and I hook up with Pookie, mm-hmm. um, KG's brother, and I said like, "Yo, I got let's 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 hook up and do." I said, "I got people and all this. Let's do the after parties together." You know what I mean? So. Um, we did the after parties for the tour. That's that was my start, mm-hmm. and, you know. So I, I had a legitimate source of income, and I started doing promotions, you know, in this in the city. And then I started, you know, doing you know uh, different club shows in the city. I brought Snoop here for the first time he was ever here. Uh, Tupac, wow. Ice Cube, Luke, Uncle Luke. <laughs> Yeah, so I that was you was behind all that. Yeah, yeah, in Queens. Yeah, hmm. yeah, 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 for sure. Yep. That's fine. I got a question. Yeah. No, 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 no. So, how you feel about what Funkmaster Flex said about the two pocket biggest situation? Funkmaster Flex, Funkmaster. I, I, don't start that. I don't. I mean, no. I'm saying that, all that emotional shit, man. I, I mean, <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, I don't even understand what he was fucking talking about. You know what I mean? That that what he what he what did he claim? He I, I thought I read something about he claimed. I tried to listen to that shit, and I thought I heard him rant, ranting about. Biggie would be alive. One, but, oh, come on, man. He said that, that Tupac knew who shot him in Quad. That's what he said. Man, I don't know about all that shit. To mm-hmm. be honest, man, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if Tupac, you know, Tupac flipped on everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, I heard, yeah. really. You know, including me. Like, you know, I and we met with Tupac because, like I said, my. My cousin is his stepfather, Matulu. He Matulu sent a word, yo, I need you to meet with my, my son. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? So we ended up, Tupac came to Queens. You know what I mean? And well, Tupac Stretch. Walker. Stretch Walker. I, 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 know, yeah. I know his daughter, actually. Yeah, when they, we met in the house in St. Albans. Me, him, Preem, and some more other dudes I will not really mention right now, but... You know, street hey, dudes, a bunch of street dudes. And why you can't there. mention them? Because, I mean, you know, Preem, Preem, it's already known that Preem was at the meeting, you know what I mean? But they, but I can't, I, I'm not going to violate their privacy, you know. Not that nothing's wrong with the I'm meeting. Just, yeah, I don't trust you sometimes. Yeah, but, you know, it was a meeting about the thug, thug life both, shit, both you man. know what I'm saying? So. He's a loyal guy, man. Yeah, the thug life shit. So he won because uh, the thug <laughs> life was real. Some cause somehow, part, you know, uh, Matulu was part of that thug life shit too, some kind so of way. We met with Pac in Queens. Yeah, we met in Queens. Yeah. So like I said, even that. So after even that, he he act like he didn't want to talk to me when I I saw him in Vegas after that. He acting all fucking paranoid and shit what? after he got out of jail. After he got out, you know, after the shooting and all of that, you know what I mean. So. What was the conversation based off in the house? About the thug, you know, the thug life, you know, bringing the code to the streets and all that, you know, that what he wanted to do, you know, oh, okay. what, he, what he him wanted, and Matulu wanted to do. He wanted to be a part of it. Yeah, you know, basically he wanted to say, like, he wanted, to, you know, the OGs to support, you know, you know, what the, bringing the code and to the streets. And who was on board, all of y'all? Yeah, we was, we was good with it. But then he got hit up? Yeah, and then he got hit up and the shit went. Hey, why? You know, just dead, you know, got dead, you know, and he started his West Coast shit, you know. Uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, I ain't no rat, so I don't, you know, but, <laughs> you know, 
No, you know, my, my thing is... Oh, you like, stopped me from talking. Okay. My <laughs> thing. Okay, good job, good job. I just wanted to say something. My thing is that I think the turning point of all that bullshit, me just wants to see my personal opinion, is when Suge was at, what was that? Was it Madison Square Garden? I think we was all in Madison Square Garden, and he got on the stage and said something about Puff. And and Puff didn't, Puff could have easily incited some shit right then, which he should have, then probably Biggie wouldn't have been there. He should have responded differently than he did. Well, I heard from some, that I'm just saying. All I heard from some OGs is that Whatever was going on with, it was above Biggie's pay grade. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not, I'm not even tripping on that. I'm mm. just saying We're that. We're talking about that, though. You know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm, like, I'm know, saying that if if if, you know what if, I'm if, about, if Puff would have probably responded differently in Madison Square Garden, which would have caused a lot of trouble, but you know, but it would have been trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like for 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 for. Everybody that was in the in the garden making ugly statements because all of New York was in that motherfucker and it was easy to incite, you know, it was mad street niggas in there that would have rose up for, for Puff. You know what I mean? I think that that would have turned around this whole fucking so Pac, beef so, shit. So man, Pac turned on Which you, had nothing to do with Pac Pac and, Pac, and Biggie Pac act at funny. the time. Pac act funny to you in Vegas. Yeah, I guess he was paranoid about everything, you know. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck was on his mind. And that was the last time you seen him. Last time? No, I saw I, that night. Uh, I seen. I was in. I was in Vegas when he got hit. So that that night, I um. When he got killed. Uh, yeah, I saw him. Run, I saw them running. Him and Suge was moving. We came past the Betty Boot Bar. They was getting the body. What you were doing out there? I had a. Uh, I had a. I had a promoter's license in Vegas, and. Uh, for Nevada, you know, and the, and the license to collect admission fees. I used to do all the after parties for oh, you mean, had. a lot of it. Oh, so that means it was confiscated. No, I just stopped doing it. You know, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. No, it wasn't confiscated. I had a, a, a license, a promoter's license, and I had a license to collect admission fees in Vegas, in Nevada, and so I would do the after party for the Mike Tyson fight. So you were cool with uh with with, with, uh, with premium. Yeah. Uh. Cool Jaru. Cool Jaru. I heard you was a famous peacemaker. <laughs> Man, I ain't talking about that.